This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koto, and welcome to Youthia Torment of Resurrection in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is long, and it's a pretty damn complex game. You are an adventurer seeking out to gain glory and renown. You will fight monsters, confront elementals, complete quests, learn skills and find treasure, all to become the greatest hero in the land. The game comes with multiple scenarios and they end on a specified turn number. You can play cooperatively or competitively, with the winner being the player with the most money and reputation. Character development. You start off with basic skills and gear and improve through the game. Dice. Conflict and challenges are a result of dice. Player turn. Each player has a board that holds weapons, skills, money, action markers, health points, equipment, item, gara tokens, and gems. You will start at a central location, and there are map stacks of tiles numbered 1 through 5. Whenever your character is not surrounded by 6 hexes, draw tiles and place them until they are. Make sure to orient them the same direction. On your turn you will use these three action markers, either for their movement points shown at the top or their action below. When moving you can take free actions and continue moving afterwards. Here we use a free action to claim this treasure token, placing one of our markers to show it has been claimed. We then move to the mountain and use a mining action, drawing a mining token and placing one of our mining markers. Markers. Another player can mine here later, but must pay you one coin. If you go to a location of a question mark, you may complete the top mission on the matching deck. Around the board are elementals, each of which has a special effect on the six hexes around it. You can challenge them once each to attempt to gain power from them. There are portals around the board. You can move between them as a free action. Many locations have monsters. You can use your fight action to clear them. Draw the top monster and another player plays them, boosting them with their own hand of monster cards. They also gain doom and gara tokens for the monster is shown. Start combat with any quick actions shown by this symbol. Then the monster attacks. It can spend gara tokens to reroll one die and add two to it. The monster here rolls 10, so does three damage. The active player uses a skill and reduces that damage. Remember to tap skills that are used. Then the hero attacks with the weapon. They can use gara tokens to reroll and add two. In the next round, the monster player spends a doom to use a monster card, gaining a boost to their roll. Keep fighting until someone is defeated. If the monster is beaten, claim the rewards on its back and mark the spot. If you have marked the trade spot, you can sell items and buy new ones with the trade action. You can only buy from the row matching the shop you are at. You can also heal and refresh the items. In addition, you can train, taking the skill tiles up to your current reputation and picking one from each level to keep. You still have to pay to equip them though. Finally, if you didn't use a skill this turn, keep it and gain three more next turn. Why would you like this game? Youthia will be a grail game for some people out there as it's just a massive fantasy romp with a hell of a lot going on. It's marketed as a sandbox game and it really is. You just pick a direction to go with your character and fun stuff will happen. And while there are dice rolls, there's a lot of mitigation with the guard tokens. Gaining treasure and skills and generally improving your character is really rewarding. And it reminds me a lot of the old Heroes of Might and Magic games. It's at its best at lower player counts and I think this would be a good fit for a small group of experienced gamers who are willing to play it routinely in order to get the most out of it, or for solo gamers. The best thing about this game is this neat mechanic where if you roll badly or the monsters roll well, you get some compensation afterwards. However, even with its impressive storage solution, Youthia is an absolute beast to pack and unpack. It's also a table eater with a massive footprint and a serious investment in time, space and money. Be sure you have those three things before you pick this up. And once you're comfortable with the game, it flows reasonably well, but the initial learning curve is very sharp. For a far simpler game with a similar feel, try Talisman. And for similar game with deck building, try Mage Knight. Youthia, the torment is carrying the box anywhere. Come support us on Patreon, and if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.